Welcome to Daily Armor. Today I wanted to be in Acts chapter 10, but failure on my part, not getting up as early as I'm supposed to get up. Um, and But what I, what I do want to share is out of 1 John 1, 9, which is where I was going to kind of land. Um, so for the sake of time, I'm going to, and like I said, it's a failure on my part, so which is kind of fitting with what the devotion is for today. Um, it's about forgiveness and that promise of forgiveness. The fit, forgiveness is available. It is available. Um, I have looking looking back over the last week and a half, two weeks, probably about two weeks, um, have just struggled. Um, struggled with being um, consistent, um, with being um, uh, um, faithful to Him um, and what He has instructed me to do. Getting up this morning late was not a good way to start my day and definitely, um, definitely have got to push through. Um, and needing a lot of forgiveness today. I don't know if you've got stuff that you're dealing with. If you've got stuff that you, you know, all you can see is everything you do wrong. And I don't just see everything I do wrong, but I've got to deal with those things. Um, I can't just push them, aside, push them aside. I can't just say, well, you know, well, this excuse, well, that excuse. Um, because when we do come to the Lord, you know, we said um, that, his promises are available and some of them are unconditional. Some of them are not. Some of them have conditions. And today's um, promise is a promise from the Lord, but it does have a condition. Um, so let's look at 1 John 1. Now it's probably really, really familiar to you. Um, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, this is that submitting to him so this is not just like saying you're sorry you know have you seen that Reese's commercial it's really cute sorry not sorry <laughs> um or they're like you know sorry that we made you know this so addictive sorry that we made this peanut butter and chocolate is just you know you just now you crave it sorry not sorry that's what they wanted, of course, of course. They wanted to put together something that was a great combination that we would want to go out and purchase and struggle to, you know, go through the line. And it's, you know, it's right there where you check out. And we, they, they wanted to make a product that was very, 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 very hard to say no to. Um, and so when they say sorry, not sorry, we know what they mean. Um, another, um, another thing that you can think about is, you know, children are a wonder, um, and they are full of life examples. Um, and not just looking at them thinking that we're not capable of that, but looking at men saying, you know what, that's what I do sometimes. Um, so definitely, you know, those of you that have, that have got children, remember those of you, um, all of us were children. Remember when we were acting that way as children and remembering that we can still do that to, today as adults. Um, but what about when you were having a struggle with siblings um, and you were, you know, your parents made you say sorry, you know, tell them you're sorry. Sorry. They didn't really mean that, did they? No, they didn't mean that. Um, I didn't mean that when I was a child um, and sometimes I'm guilty of that as an adult, you know, Lord, I'm sorry. And how do we know? How do we know the difference of when we truly, truly are asking for forgiveness? Um, and, or are we truly just trying to get out of trouble? Um, trying to get out of punishment. If you have an excuse, you're really not sorry. If you say, well, Lord, I'm sorry, but I didn't have any choice. Lord, I'm sorry, but I was just, I didn't know what else to do. Lord, I'm sorry, but I was just backed into a corner. Lord, I'm sorry, but I didn't see any other way. Lord, I'm sorry, but doesn't, that's, that's one of those conditions that we didn't really receive forgiveness for that, whatever we just said sorry about. But when we truly are repenting, when we're truly confessing our sins and truly, truly wanting that forgiveness. He is faithful to do that. He is faithful to forgive us. 
But the sign that when we're wanting it is when we're like, oh, we are, we make ourselves sick. You ever done that? I've done that plenty of times. I make myself sick. I'm like, how did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you say that? Or that I didn't even mean it. I didn't mean, mean for that to come out that way or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, why did I give in to that? Why did, you know, why? Um, so we all struggle. Um, it could be doubts. It could be like, you know, you're pondering on some doubts. It could be a fear and you're letting the fear rule whether you do or don't do something. Um, I know that I've been guilty of that. Um, it's hard to admit that we're afraid. Um, sometimes we don't look at it as we're being afraid. We're defensive. But why are we defensive? Because there's something that's, that's, that's pressuring us. There's something that's pushing us. There's something that's trying to make us afraid. Um, and so we don't look at it as fear when that's actually what it really could be is, is fear. You're, you're wanting and you feel like, well, I have to. I don't have any choice. I've got to get a hold of this thing. I've got to take care of this. Before it gets me, i got to take care of it. Before things get worse, before my health gets worse, before this happens or that happens and, and fear wells up and we need to ask the Lord to forgive us for it. We need to recognize it. We have to recognize it for what it is. And we have to be not a Reese's commercial where we're saying, Lord, sorry, but not really sorry. Sorry that I got caught. Sorry that I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get out of trouble. But they deserved it, Lord. That's not being sorry. That's being like a, that's being a, a brat. That's being a child. That's being, that's reacting as adults, we can do that. We can react like a child would react, like siblings would react. We can do that, and we have to be careful of that. Um, you know, thinking about, you know, saying something ugly when the Lord tells us in his word to not use our words for that. Um, if it doesn't edify, it is if it doesn't help, he's saying keep those words to yourself. That's what he shares in his word. Um, and and what about ugly actions? He, he tells us to, that the vengeance is not of us. Vengeance is his. So he doesn't want us to seek revenge. He doesn't want us to be ugly. What does he want us to do when we feel that need to be ugly, when we want to be ugly? What does he tell us to do? He says, pray for your enemies. Do good to them. If they're hungry, feed them. If they need something, you know, and you can meet that need, meet that need. That's what he tells us. He tells us not to have ugly actions, not to have ugly words. And he doesn't want us to be unfaithful. He wants us to be committed to him. And I'll tell you, I am, I struggle with that myself. I struggle with that. He's given me some instructions and most of the time I can do it. But you know what? I mess up and I'm not making excuses for it. There is no excuse for it. All I'm going to do is make myself miserable. I make myself miserable. It brings me misery. And when am I most happy? When am I most content? When am I most at peace? When I'm doing exactly. When I'm reacting the way he wants me to react. When I'm doing the things he wants me to do. When I'm not, you know, laying in the bed. When I'm not grabbing that, you know, something I've made for the grandchildren. And I'm like, I'm not supposed to eat that. And then I hit that two or three o'clock slump. And it's right there. And I'm like, you know, stop it, stop it, stop it. And I know, because you know what this, you know how I know because the scales they keep bumping up. They go down two or three pounds, go back up two or three pounds, go back down two or three pounds, go back up two or three pounds. And I'm like, I'm so sick of where I'm at. But it's my own unfaithfulness. It's 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 me. It's not on anybody else. It's me, and it's me needing to learn how to be faithful and how to cope with stress differently and how to how to how to handle things differently and I'm still trying to figure that out and I'm asking him to help me but I have to start with asking him to forgive me and not not saying sorry but not sorry no saying lord I am disgusted with myself and that was my cry this morning lord I am disgusted with myself and my unfaithfulness and what I hold to is but lord I know you are faithful and true and just, and holy, and pure, and everything, and that I know that forgiveness is available, even if I'm feeling bitterness, if you ever felt, if you ever been bitter, ever felt bitterness, um, towards something, towards a situation, towards somebody, um, and you think you've got it mastered, 
and then all of a sudden a name's brought up or a situation's brought up and you just get that you know you get that snarky um, voice that comes out you get that snarky attitude that comes out there's still some bitterness there that needs to be dealt with and when you recognize that in yourself and don't don't worry about seeing it in somebody else we don't need we're not wanting to be pointing fingers out here I'm not pointing fingers at you I'm pointing fingers all at me I feel it if I try to even if when I try to hide it even if I don't say it if I'm thinking it and I feel it, I know there's something, you know, there that I still need to deal with and that I still need to, to go to Lord. Um, if there's some unforgiveness and I, you know, um, there was something, I don't know, probably about a week or two ago. And I'm just looking back at it thinking, you know what? I must have some unforgiveness still there. I have some bitterness still there. Um, and I'm, I'm asking the Lord to forgive me of those things and to help me handle that. Help me to to dig out that root of bitterness. I want to dig it out. Um, sometimes I'll get these these stickers and I don't just spray a little weed killer and kill it. I dig them up. I get them out by the root. And so, you know, I think about that, that that's what we have to do with bitterness. We have to dig it out, have to get through that root system out because, you know, that, that weed killer might get diluted with all the rain that we have and it, they might start, might start popping back up. And I think that's what happens in my life um, from time to time is I thought I got it out, but I must have just sprayed a little weed killer on it and I've got to dig it out. I've got to get in there with my shovel and dig it out and I, I need, and I don't know how to do it. I don't know about you. If you know how to handle all this stuff perfectly, I don't. I don't know how to handle all this kind of stuff perfectly. I get impatient and I get impatient with myself. I get impatient with others and you know what? I do get impatient with him. I'm like, Lord, this needs to be, Lord, we got to do something now. And he's like, no, we don't. It's in my time. You just keep waiting. You just keep watching. Keep listening. Keep praying. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I got plenty to keep me busy. And so I don't have any excuse to be impatient with myself or, or anybody else or him, especially him, especially him. He is so patient with me. And so as I have cried out to him this morning, um, Lord, I need forgiveness. I'm saying, Lord, I'm sorry, and I need forgiveness, and I'm so thankful that your promise is available and that forgiveness is available. I think about my children when, even like my granddaughter, um, I can't remember what she did something yesterday or the day before. I can't remember what she did. Whatever she did, it seemed like it popped me in the mouth or or I can't remember what it was. Um, see, that's how you know you forgive somebody because you can't even quite remember what it was. Um, I just kind of remember what I remember is her sincerity. And she's like, oh, T.T., I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. T.T., I'm so sorry. I mean, she said it like four or five times. And I'm like, baby, it's okay. T.T.'s fine. I'm fine. You know, it was okay. She was truly, sincerely sorry. And you could hear it. You could see it in her face. You could hear it in her voice. God can see it in our face. He can hear it in our voice. He knows deep down in our hearts when we're really, really wanting for, when we're really asking for forgiveness and we're not just sorry that we got caught, not just sorry that we're having to deal with some consequences when we're not just making excuses. He knows the difference. And when he sees the difference, you know what happens? We get forgiven. We get forgiven and we move on. We move on and we try to do better and we ask him to help us. And I'm asking him, Lord, with, with the, you know, I'm trying to figure out like a new schedule, a new, um, I knew everything because everything in, in my schedule has changed drastically and I'm not figuring it out. Um, it's only been a couple of weeks um, and my schedule changes again today, starting today, complete big change in the schedule again today. And so as I move forward from today on the next several weeks, um, I'm still trying to figure it out. And I'm asking him, Lord, how do I start my day? Lord, how do I handle this situation? Lord, how do I, what, how do I prepare? Um, and I know I got to get up, Lord, at five instead of six. I know I do. I have to get up. No matter how tired I am, once I get going, I'm okay. Just got to get up. And I know that's part of my schedule problem um, is I got to get up and get out there um, and get started with my day. And 
when I don't do that. When I do it, you know what happens? I am so happy. I am so excited. I am so full of energy. Why? Because I've done what I'm supposed to do. And there's enough time to get it done. And what a difference. And it just, it just takes a little bit of pressure off. What do I do when I don't? Then I'm panicked. Then I'm raising my heart, my cortisol and mine. I'm, I'm getting anxious and I'm getting, you know, I'm getting like, oh, you know, frantic and crazy. And all those, you know, all those things that comes with not doing what I need to do. And whatever it is for you, I mean, there's so many things for me. Um, I mean, I've listed out a few things that just popped in my head this morning, you know, about doubts and fears and ugly words and ugly actions and unfaithfulness and impatience um, with, with myself, with others, with him. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that just disgusts me. Um, unforgiveness, bitterness, and the list goes on and on and on. Things that we've done, things that we haven't done, things that we've failed to do. There's, the list goes on and on and on. And I know for me, um, I get so aggravated and I want, and I strive, I want to sin less and less. Doesn't, I'm, I'm saved. I've been forgiven. Um, that's where I wanted to be in, in Acts chapter number 10. And Lord willing, maybe if I'll, you know, be faithful and, and do what I'm supposed to do, that we'll be in Acts chapter 10. It's a lengthy devotion out of Acts chapter 10. I'm still seeing so many things, so many nuggets um, out of Acts chapter 10. But Lord willing, that's where we'll be tomorrow. And I'll probably still end up here at that first John 1 9 um, because it's about it's still about forgiveness and it's about that that we've been forgiven um, because of the sacrifice that he made and but that forgiveness has been it's, it's still available so I've been washed by the blood but I'm kind of like Peter whenever the Lord was washing their feet and, and he's it's, Peter's like wash me all over he's like no you've already been washed he said we just gotta I'm just gonna wash off the dirty parts and so when we're coming to him after salvation, it's, you know, Lord, I uh, got my feet dirty again. Lord, I need to be cleansed. I need to be clean. Because look what it says, 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And what else? And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I don't know about you. Like I did a workout this morning and then I went and got a shower. When I come in from the workout, I was feeling nasty, just disgusting, sweaty, sticky, disgusting. But what happened when I got out of my shower? Man, did I feel so much better. And I, how do I feel now? I feel clean. I feel clean on the outside and I've asked for forgiveness and I feel clean on the inside. And I, not saying that I'm going to go through this day perfectly, I am saying I am going to go through this day forgiven and clean and striving to sin less and less and less. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.